In this video, we're going to talk about the one thing that's been missing from your piano playing. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So the one thing that I bet is probably been missing from your piano playing and practicing is leaning. What I mean is literally leaning from side to side at the piano in order to reach the low and high registers of the piano while being in a good position to play those notes so that we're not tense and it's not awkward or so that when we get to those high or low place on the keyboard we don't have this sort of like hiccupy stuttery sort of uh, thing in the music. Now we're going to demonstrate this in a couple different ways so make sure that you stick around to the end of the video. The first thing I want to do is I want to go in a little bit more detail here. So let's say I'm going to play this low C with my left hand. You can actually see that I'm leaning over here. Now the reason why I'm doing that is I want my arm to be straight. I don't want to have to reach down the keyboard like so. Or if I'm gonna play high on the keyboard like so, I can lean over like this so that my arm is straight. So you'll notice that I'm not actually getting up and moving on the bench. The bench is staying in one place. I'm actually just leaning from side to side here, okay? Now, there's four key things that we have to understand. The first one is that we always want to be sitting in the middle of the keyboard, okay? So you'll notice that when I'm sort of adjusting where I'm sitting, I'm making sure that I am centered between about middle C and the F above. So that's sort of like at the center of where I'm sitting. And the reason for this is then, from there I can lean high and lean low and pretty much reach the whole keyboard without getting myself into awkward weird positions but most of all I don't have to like hop up or hop down. I see younger students that are smaller do this a lot and of course when you are smaller it is hard to reach those extreme registers but generally speaking we want to sit in one place and not actually move. Now the second concept is keeping the shoulders level. So when we lean we don't wanna lean like this. So see how this shoulder is much lower than this other shoulder? Or sort of like this shoulder is pointing down to the ground. You'll notice what this does is it puts my elbow much lower than the keyboard. So we don't want that. If I'm sitting here and I'm going to lean over, okay, I want to keep my shoulders as flat as possible. You can see that my shoulders, I'm trying to keep them as flat as possible. Now, my elbow is more or less in the same position and see how I, as I go back to the center of the keyboard, my shoulders stay flat so that my elbow is not going lower or higher. It's generally speaking, staying in the same place, just a little bit above the level of the white keys. Now, the third key concept here is to roll onto one hip or the other as we lean one way. So if I'm sitting here, my weight is kind of down in my sit bones in, my, in kind of the front part of my bum here, okay? And that's important. Now, if I lean to the left, I'm gonna actually roll onto my left hip. We're gonna have a couple different camera angles so you can really see this well. But I wanted to start by just explaining this. So I'm gonna roll onto that hip, or if I go the other way, I can actually roll onto the other hip, like so. So I kinda can roll one way or the other way onto those hips. When I do that, if I try to keep you know, my, my hips sort of flat on the bench, I have to do something weird like this, okay? So we don't wanna do that. Now, the fourth concept here is keeping everything balanced. So, probably the most challenging thing about leaning at the keyboard is that if I lean over, this is very hard and very uncomfortable. I feel like I'm gonna fall. But what I can do is I can use my feet and my legs to actually balance me. Now, you can't see it in the camera angle right now, so what we're going to do now is we're gonna to jump to a different camera angle where I'll show you exactly what's happening with my feet. All right, now from this camera angle, you can see my feet and how I'm actually sitting on the bench. Now you'll notice that generally speaking, we want our feet to be on the pedals, at the very least in front of the pedals, like so. However, I'm just gonna keep my feet basically on the pedals here. Now, what happens when I want to lean low on the keyboard or to the left? As I lean, I'm actually going to put my left foot like this, okay? So it's sort of like my foot and leg act as a counterbalance. If I don't do that, I feel like, I feel very uncomfortable. I almost feel like I'm going to 
fall over in that direction. So I do this, and then I can come down here and play really well. The same thing, of course, if we're going to play up the keyboard, I'm going to use my left leg. So as I lean up like so, you can see my left leg extends like so and sort of acts as a counterbalance. So again, as I do this, I can keep my arms straight, I can make sure that my shoulders are flat, and I can make sure that my foot or leg is kind of counterbalancing. Now, if we take a look at how I'm actually sitting on the bench, you'll notice that as I lean to the left, I roll up onto my left hip so that my right sort of side of my bum is actually not touching the bench anymore. And then as I come back, now I'm sort of flat on the bench. And then as I lean the other way, I roll onto my right hip. Now this is a little bit hard to do, but if I do this kind of slowly and I'm gonna to lean to the low part of the keyboard and I'm just going to play, go up the keyboard so you can kind of see how this works. So see how it was sort of this one sort of smooth thing up the keyboard. However, there's a lot of moving parts. My left leg is moving to the right, to the left, and then my hips are actually rolling back and forth like so. And even if you just do this back and forth to get used to this, okay, that's a really good exercise to do. Now you also have to make sure, generally speaking, that my right foot is not really going to move off the pedals because as I'm playing, I might want to actually use the pedal. So my right foot is gonna basically stay on the pedals the whole time, but my left foot is gonna work as a counterbalance. All right, now we're gonna take a minute and think about the shoulders. So obviously when I'm sitting in the middle of the keyboard, my shoulders are flat, so I'm not tilted to one side or the other. We need to make sure, like we mentioned, that the shoulders stay in a generally level position as we go low on the keyboard, okay? So you'll notice that we don't have to stress about them being perfectly level, but generally speaking, they're about the same, which means that my elbows are gonna be about the same in relation to the keyboard. Now, as I go then high on the keyboard, same thing, my shoulders stay flat. And you'll notice that this sort of, whatever side I'm leaning to, this part of my torso stays generally straight, okay? So I'm not gonna be tilted to the side. This is almost just like straight down like so. So I'm sort of curving my torso in the opposite direction that I'm leaning. So if I'm leaning to the left, I'm sort of like curving towards the right kind of, which is helping my shoulders stay nice and flat. <laughs> see from these examples and these different camera angles how these four different key elements work together to make sure that we can always reach whatever part of the keyboard we need to play but also that we can be in the best possible position to play in whatever register we have to play because if we're putting our body in an awkward or weird position to reach to the high register or the low register, that's gonna put us immediately at a disadvantage. It's gonna cause tension. And especially if we're playing fast or really demanding repertoire, this is gonna be much more difficult. So I hope this information was interesting, informative, and most of all, helpful. If you have any questions or comments, make sure and put those down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.